The January transfer window is rapidly coming to a close as clubs up and down the country scramble for those last minute deals. Now we have this just in of Sheffield Wednesday manager Ozzy Villain. Uh, so let's see what he's had to say about his club. Luongo, Reach, stop that or we're not going to McDonald's. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, look, um, we're done for the window. Uh, you know, even if I wanted to sign somebody, we're at our squad limit. Um, so unfortunately, yeah, it's a full house here. So there won't be anything more from Sheffield Wednesday today. Right, that's it. We're going straight home. Hey guys, I'm Ozzy Villain and welcome to episode 8 here at Sheffield Wednesday as we look to put the first star on the club badge by winning the Champions League for the club. But today we of course are still in the championship, a long, long way from a Champions League final. Uh, we are going to be playing Birmingham City and top of the table Brentford in that championship battle. Now the transfer window has officially closed since last episode uh, and we didn't do any other business. So really just the three loan signings that we went through last episode. So that's it. There was nobody else that went out either. Um, so it's as we were on the transfer front since last episode. There was no sort of late moves there. Now, if we have a quick look at the medical center, there's some good news and some bad news. The good news is that Barry Bannon is back fit. So that's a big, big get for us. Uh, the bad news is for ahead of this episode, we are without three players. Jack Marriott, uh, he's out for about two, two three weeks with uh, some ligaments. Um, or a pulled ligament, uh, to be more precise. So that's a bit of a loss, but um, he's sort of a backup anyway, so we can con we, we can get by without him, so that's fine. Uh, the other two are more major losses. The first is uh, Elias Kachunga. Uh, he's out for, um, was about two weeks, week and a half, two weeks, with a damaged foot. Uh, I'm not quite sure what that means, if it's just, anyway, it doesn't really matter. Um, he's been playing really well for us on this right-hand side, so that's that is a bit of a loss for us uh, ahead of this one. And, well, without a doubt, the big loss is Adam Reach. He has a gashed upper leg. He might be back, fingers crossed, he might be back for Brentford, but he's definitely going to miss um, to miss the Birmingham game, which, to be honest, he may not have played in any way to try and keep him fresh for that um, for that uh, game against, against uh, Brentford. So, yeah, another big, big loss there. Now, we do have some games to catch you up on since last episode. Four of them, in fact. Uh, the first one being against Preston. And uh, they were also in the, uh, well, they are also in the promotion battle with us for those playoff places. So let's go see how we got on. We took a first half lead when Matt Penny finished a good passing move. And went two up moments later through Van Aken. Preston pulled one back late on, but we took all three points. So we just about shaded it, I would say. Some, uh, no, certainly the penny goal was a nice goal. Uh, you can see XG says we did just about shade it. It felt like we were the better team. Uh, I was surprised, actually, to see how close the XG was. But uh, we got the job done at three huge, huge points. And, uh, yeah, on we go. Next game was against Millwall. So really disappointing. We just couldn't quite manage to break them down. Uh, you can see we, we, we smashed them on the field. We did everything but score. Um, Reach didn't have a great game. Espinosa didn't have a great game. We defended well, as you can see there. Ultimately, we, we just couldn't break him down. So, it was a, I mean, it, there's no such thing as a bad away point in the championship, but um, it was a disappointing away point, this one. Uh, next up, we played Swansea. Now, of course, they beat us earlier on this season. Let's see how we got on in the reverse fixture. I offer a cross for Patterson to give us the lead. And we were quickly 2-0 up when Patterson got his second to round off a counter-attack. Swansea pulled one back. But Espinosa played in Adam Reach to restore our two-goal lead. Before Penny crossed for Kachunga to make it four at half-time. And Penny smashed in a goal of the season contender in the second half. So this was an absolutely stunning performance from us. We really, really did play well in this one. Took our chances as well. You can see everybody played well. Bernard and Espinosa did well together, uh, which was great to see. Penny, obviously, a star of the show. And what about that final goal as well? Um, yeah, really, really good performance this one. A stunning result, a big three points. And next up, we played Stoke. So again, another game. We had some really good chances to win this one, and we just... We just couldn't break them down, and I don't really understand why some games we can look so good like we did against Swansea, and then, you know, either side of that, we looked completely toothless, to be honest. So, um, yeah, I mean, obviously we're not a complete side just yet, and I don't, I can't, I can't put my finger on exactly what went wrong in this one again, but uh, again, an away point, it's never a terrible thing, but 
we probably should have. I mean, the shots were even, but XG suggests we maybe should have won that one. Quick look at what all that means for the league table, and we are currently sitting just outside of the playoffs. Now, there's still that little bit of a gap back to eighth place Huddersfield, um, so it's looking as though, again, it's going to be six of seven that are sort of involved in the playoffs. But, um, yeah, we do just need to try and make sure that we're uh, the right side. We're not that seventh club. But you can see Brentford up there, top of the table. That's going to be tough. But if we scroll down, Birmingham City are struggling a little bit, sort of lower mid-table maybe. Um, so that is, of course, going to be our first game here. So let's have a look and see what we're doing. And uh, we can see we're expecting a 4-3-3 to come out against us. If we have a quick look at the team we're sending out. Now, we, we fixtures are coming thick and fast. So we are having to sort of rotate a little bit here. So this is the team that we're sending out. It's Will Smith in goal. It's Townsend, of course, the new left back we have in on loan. He's going to get the start in this one. It's Borna, it's Nartley, and it's uh, Palmer as the back four. Torres in behind Hunt and Littner as the, uh, as the midfield duo. It's Harrison, Izzy Brown. Now, Izzy Brown, we need him to be playing as an inverted winger for us, please, Izzy. And Jordan Rhodes is going to go up top, though I don't think we want Jordan up there as a target man. You are going to have to just be a, uh, an advanced forward for us. So, yeah, it's not the strongest team, but, you know, we have to do, as you can see, the heavy match load on some of the players that uh, ideally we want playing against Brentford. All right, and here we go. Now, somewhat annoyingly, they do have a new manager that's just come in, so we don't really have... Uh, too much about the way they're going to play. Uh, this is a great opportunity for us to back the pundits up. All right, we'll, we'll go with that, I suppose. Um, it seems to have worked. Some calm, we have faith, or some no gesture, we have faith, I should say. And, uh, well, there we go. Everybody's looking motivated. Let's hope that that motivation turns into goals here for us. And uh, Sheffield Wednesday goals, please, game. Because I know <laughs> if you don't specify that, the game has a nasty habit of uh, taking what you say literally. That is not what I wanted to click. I wanted to click shouts and encouragement. And uh, we've got some green smiley faces down there, which is excellent. Uh, we just need to get ourselves some goals now, don't we? Uh, yeah, like I said, I think Barry Benenbach does help. When we sort of destroyed Sheffield Wednesday, um, he was quite good, and Espinosa as well. It seems like we, if we can't, we either need to get the middle of the field going for us, or we need to get our wingers going for us. And it looks like we're having another one of these games right now, where if we don't get either of them, then we do just, uh, well, we look a little bit toothless, to be honest. So it's, I haven't quite figured out exactly yet how to, to make sure we get sort of one or both of those uh, of, of those things happening. But we can see again here that we're just not quite, we're just not quite getting this going for us. Um, so we'll have a think about what we do here. All right, so uh, what do we want to say? I mean, do we? I think we want to say we're not happy with that, don't we? It wasn't fantastic. Um, I'm wondering if a way to get our wingers into space is if we attack with not much width, which should suck them in and then maybe give us space on the outside. So let's try that. Let's try raising the tempo a little bit. Uh, looking for the overlaps and see if that works for us. Um... I think, as I said, I do think a little bit of it is just the fact that we're not, uh, you know, we're not the finished article yet. Here we go with a with a uh, with a throw in here. Townsend gets it into the box. It's headed away. Can we get to that with Torres? We can't. And are we going to get hit on the break? Oh, it's the ultimate tease. It's an attacking throw, and then this happens. Torres is there. He gets uh, well, doesn't stop it. We're alleged the area here. We need to get in a little bit closer than that, boys. There's the shot. It's off the crossbar. Nartley clears it away. And we've maybe got away with one there ever so slightly. Let's give it a calm down, perhaps. Townsend is not having a good game. Neither is Izzy Brown. Um, all right, so Hildaldo can come on and play for Izzy Brown. And, I mean, I want to keep Penny fresh. We might just have to try and get a little bit more out of Townsend, I think. Can we give him a touchline shout? We can't. Um... Come on, boys. Fire up for me. Fire up. This, again, is not working, is it? This is what it was like against... Um... Let's try exploit the flanks. And we'll take it off. Be more disciplined. This is what it was like against the 2-0-0s. Two, two nil nil Millwall and Stoke. We just, we just couldn't get anything going. And it's very frustrating because we've seen what we can do when we go out and play somebody like Sheffield... Uh, who we play Swansea... And can absolutely destroy them. Let's try changing the tactics around. Um, 
that is, I mean, Harris as a centre back concerns me. I'll be honest. <laughs> we might have to go and change that. Um, yeah, what do we do here? All right, so let's get S. No, let's stick Litner up there. Uh, we'll get somebody else into midfield. That somebody else can be Callum Patterson, maybe. No, what do we want to do here? I don't. We don't have the options. All right, so let's get Espinosa on. Let's switch them around. Espinosa, can you go as an advance? I mean, we've, we're right at the end of the game. It's probably not going to make too much difference here, is it? Um, all right, you go as a deep liar on support. Hunt, you go box to box for me. And we'll just see if in stoppage time, just maybe that this late change can get something for us. No, it cannot. I ultimately wasted everybody's time there, didn't I? And... Again, we've just created absolutely nothing there. Um, yeah. So Sheffield Wednesday, we moved into promotion contention. That point did actually bring us back into the playoff places, so that's a good sign. Um, but it was just there's just there was just nothing there for us, was there? And that is a disappointing thing. All right, guys, wait right there. We'll be back, for Brentford, and hopefully, um, well, hopefully some goals. Okay, welcome back, welcome back. Let's hope we get some goals in this one. We're about to go to Brentford, uh, and you can see we have slipped outside the playoff places in Huddersfield. Now, there's been some games midweek that have already happened. Huddersfield have obviously won back-to-back -back games here, and they are suddenly right up our backsides, uh, and it looks as though it's going to be a race of eight uh, rather than seven for these playoff spots. So, uh, still a long, long way to go. Of course, it's a 46-league game season, so... You know, we're only in February, but uh, ideally here we'd like to, you know, make a statement and see if we can get a nice win away to Brentford, like we managed, of course, away to Bournemouth. That would be something good that we can see. We're expecting a 4-3-3 from them, though. Um, this is the team that we're sending out. Now, Adam Reach has not come up fit for this one. Um, so, unfortunately, he misses out. But otherwise, it is, uh, well, it's all changed, really. So, it's uh, Will Smith in goal to continue there. It's Penne, Van Aken, it's Dunkley, and a four, our first choice defense. Barry Bannon is back in there as the deep line playmaker. Luongo and Espinosa in midfield. It's Harrison Brown again out wide with Callum Patterson going up top for us. He has six goals now this season. Um, and he's in some decent form as well. So let's hope that uh, he can find a few more here. All right, so we can see the way both teams are lining up here. And of course, uh, we can't forget that when we played them at home, they absolutely destroyed us. It was 4-0, wasn't it? Um, what do we say to that? I don't think we want to... I think we want to try and take some pressure off here, maybe. Um, I don't really want to play for revenge. It never really works for me. Uh, were they underdogs? All right, let's go with that. Let's let's pump the fist. Let's get some proper faith going this time around. And, well, hopefully, we'll create something. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Just one highlight, perhaps. Um, I am wondering if perhaps the reason we struggled so much against uh, Birmingham is the fact we didn't have a deep line playmaker. We just had uh, Litten up as a playmaker in there. So maybe that hurts us. And is that over the bar? It is. Um, yeah, so I'm wondering if maybe that's something we could look to fix. We don't really have another creative player we can play in there. But I'm wondering if maybe just having the likes of Torres, in, as whoever's playing that defensive midfield role, if we have them try, oh, we're 1-0 down. And it's Tony with the early goal. And, uh, well, that all looked a little bit too easy, didn't it? Um, well, we wanted a goal. We've got that. So that's uh, something, I suppose. Ball in. And, yeah, I'm not really sure what Dunkley's doing there, if I'm honest. Um, okay, so I think maybe we're being a little bit too passive here. Let's uh, Let's try and go at them. I can't remember what I did in the first game, and I probably could have gone back and checked the, checked the video, but uh, whatever we did in that first game clearly didn't work. So we <laughs> want to do the opposite here if we can help it. Um, yeah, but I do wonder a little bit, maybe it's a, it's a case of we're becoming a little bit too tactically predictable, and we might need to change it up a little bit. Um, Again, the problem with that is that we don't really have the strikers for it, especially with Marriott currently out injured. There... Oh, I thought that was going in. Um, there's maybe an argument that Patterson and Marriott as a duo up top could work, sort of little man, big man kind of thing. Um, but again, we don't... I mean, Marriott's not available for this one anyway. Jordan Rhodes. I just feel like Jordan Rhodes isn't quite quick enough. We've got a good block there. Izzy Brown, he's doing a decent job. And Penny wins that, but there's no one there. Um, we, we can't get out right now, can we? There's a ball, and I tell you what, it's a decent header. 
<laughs> the edge of the penalty area. Let's let's go back to positive. Bannon is not having a good game. Um, we're almost at half time. I mean, you could argue that we did a decent job closing them down, but we created absolutely nothing of our own. Um, and that is not really... That's not really what we want to be doing here, is it? Um, all right, so do we say I expect a better performance in this second half? And we've got to find a way to get to get on the ball here, don't we? Um, so let's try attacking with some width then. We'll increase the directness a little bit. And... Well, when we uh, when we switched to the sort of the higher line, we did seem to. I, I can't. It's, there's got to be a way to get back into the dressing room, and I haven't found it out yet. If anybody knows, can you please let me know in the comments? How do you get back to the dressing room from this screen? It's got to be something up here, surely. But I'm yet to find it. Anyway, I think I gave a team talk, didn't I? I'm pretty sure I did. Anyway, let's encourage them and see if we can get something going here. Second half, anything even. Here we go. I offer on the ball. Can he get a... Oh, it's tackled away. And now he's out of position as well. Espinosa goes across. He wins it back. Patterson has it. Patterson goes early looking for Harris. Harris has it. Can Harris draw us level? Oh, goalkeeper makes the save. But we've had a highlight and that's something. The crowd roars or the away section roars anyway. Bennon with a corner. Can we get someone on the end of this? It's... Oh, it's I offer, was it? Or was it Izzy Brown? Somebody's there and they've headed it over the bar. Um, Dunkley is, well, not having another, again, not having a good game at the back. So let's get him off, uh, for Borna. And they're 2-0 up. And it's Tony again. And this is, it's just not working for us, is it? Um, okay, well, what we're going to do is we are going to, we, uh, yeah, we want to make that change, but we are going to, we're just going to change things up because it's not, it's not working. So I'll make these changes and then I'll, we'll come back and run through you, run you through them. All right. So we're going to go back to the double Mazella, uh, formation and we'll just see if this, if this changes something up for us, cause it's clearly not working. We're not creating anything. So the changes that we've made, Harris and Brown have gone off the two wide players. Rhodes has come on to play up top, and we've brought on Littner to play in midfield next to Luongo as the two Mazellas. We've got deep lying and advanced playmakers. The plan here is that the fullbacks will provide a little, the wingbacks will provide the width. These two will drift out and sort of leave the middle of the field, hopefully, for the two playmakers to control. Um, that's the plan. That's how it's supposed to work. Is it going to work? Well, we're about to find out. Um... Can we... Well, let's see what we get here. Penny with a throw. Hacked clear. Van Atkins, uh, Tony's on a hat trick. We've just let him go straight through the middle of us. And goalkeeper makes one save. Oh, he's done just about enough to hold him up. And... Well, let's see. No, nothing else comes of that. So that's something. Uh, all right. Do we demand more, maybe? I mean, if we're looking for positives, it ha it's not 4-1 again, but we've gone two games now without scoring, which is, needless to say, not ideal. I've hit, missed the pause button there as well. Um, Espinosa's having a nightmare up there. It's just... It's just not worked, has it? And I'm having a difficult time figuring out... Figuring out why. Now, Brentford are a good side which obviously has something to do with it, but that's not been great. Um, it might be team meeting territory as well. Uh, obviously, we're disappointed with that. That goes without saying. So Sheffield Wednesday, powerless to resist as Brentford dominate. And I think with that result, um, I mean, it's the first loss in 10 games, but you can just see just recently where we are at times struggling to get the goals. And then you'll have games like Sheffield Wednesday, which seem to come out of nowhere and make no sense to anybody. I do think with that result, though, that just about does end um, any chance of automatic promotion. If there was a chance of automatic promotion, we are very much just playing for this playoff spot now. Um, 
and that is kind of where we're at. Now, a uh, quick first mention, we uh, do have a Viewers Player of the Year that we uh, nominate uh, players for for the end of season awards at the end of the season, obviously. Um, first call for those, if we uh, if we don't make the playoffs, then we, we're going to come to the end of this season relatively quickly now. Um, so yeah, if any, your favorite player or who you think has been our best player this season, let me know in the comments um, or on Discord, link to that in the description, and we'll start to get together a nominees list uh, for everybody to vote on, but I think we will come back next episode. I mean, Huddersfield is looking as though it's a very big game now, and so is Norwich, isn't it? Fourth and eighth. So I think that's what I'm Reading's a big game as well. We've got a couple of we've got well, we've got a number of big games coming up here now. Watford a third as well. So we've got a tough run. These this next month or so is going to determine, I think, where our season goes. So we will be back, as I said, we'll come back for Norwich and Huddersfield at home, two must-win home games. Uh, if you've enjoyed this for some reason, if you don't like watching a team score, make sure you hit thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Uh, yeah, and we'll be back next time, and we'll, we'll be doing some attacking training and uh, practice and training as well. Take care.